base resonator here and I have my apple mold from uh, Let's Resin. I have it on this surface because I'm going to move it because I have another project I'm going to be working on as well. I've already pre-mixed my resin which is Resin Pro Eye Crystal 5 so it's a deep pour. And I'm using and I colored uh, glitter yellow from Unicone Arts. It's really well you see the color my favorite and I said it that way just on porpoise <sighs> see what I did there um, did that just to be finny <laughs> I'm having a hard time uh, yeah I said that just for the halibut oh boy getting ichthy here uh, anyway you really need to pay attention to exactly how I say that so you don't accuse me of saying bad words um, I've pre-mixed eight and a half ounces or so maybe a little bit more than that it looks like more no twelve and a half ounces because on on the thing online it says it takes twenty two I found out no it does not take twenty two it takes about twelve or they're close my favorite apple is by far the Golden Delicious. Now I know Red Delicious and all those and Granny Smith and all those other. Ah. Golden Delicious is my jam. Oh, oh, can I make jam out of Golden Delicious? I don't know. But Golden Delicious have this really, I'm hoping to get as close as I can with this color. Um, but they always have a little blush in one area of the of the apple, like up towards the top edge. I'm going to try and get in there with a little bit of blush only on the outside. So I'm going to fold this mold so that I can get right there with the blush. Now the stem I've already done. I mixed in some gold mica with Let's Resin UV Resin hard type and I cured it for a long time and it's it's in there I did this before on those other apples that I made and it came out really nice so I am going to add a little bit of blush and wouldn't you know it no I need to go up higher um, this color from Unicone Art is called blush uh, how did that happen? That's basically how I decided which um, colorants to use instead of some of the other micas that I have. But since this one already had one called blush, I thought, well, I'll just add that little bit of blush on my golden delicious <laughs> see what I did there oh I'm too full of it today my wife finally figured out it took two days for her to figure out that I had painted those butterflies on the trellis thing that I have out front <laughs> to be honest or to be uh, sympathetic and to be nice to her she never looks at that side of the sidewalk because she's always looking to see out what's happening so I'm the one that looks in because I'm looking at my plants okay put this back inside and got a little bit of blush on the inside you know this might not have been the best hope I may have to move it just a touch. I'm going to go this way because I'm thinking, I'm a thinking, let's not be level. Well, what I can do is I can fill it most of the way and then come back to you tomorrow when I unmold it. Um, well, look at that. Can I have a golden delicious with a little bit of nastiness on the bottom there just get a little bit of tape and it goes in and takes away all kinds of and that's packing tape so I can put it on the box um, I'll be able to unmold this in front of you hopefully oh 
look at that, look at that. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna stop here in just a second because I need to make sure we don't have any air bubbles down here. Don't want no bubbles down here. No, 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 no. No bubbles. No bubbles. No bubbles. I'll get it close to the top and then I will stop filling it and I'll do the rest out in the final resting place. <laughs> that sounds bad. Of these apples by Yemeni. Okay, that's about as far as I want to go. Now on this one I gotta watch real careful on to make sure that I get all the bubbles out of those underneath that lip. In that pretty color. Okay, I trust myself to carry that without dropping it. If my dog doesn't get underfoot, look. Okay, not a real long video so far, um, but you know. How can you improve upon the perfect apple? It doesn't take much. Just grow it and eat it. That's that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm not going to eat it, but I'm going to have it available. So I will have a red apple. I think it's called Red Delicious or just a delicious. A red one, a Granny Smith, and my Golden Delicious. And I've got something else. Something else in store for you. <laughs> but you must wait. Okay. I will see you tomorrow with the grand unmolding of the golden delicious apple. Next day, golden delicious, all hardened up, all cured. When I was going around squeeze, squeezing, some of the resin popped out, so I'll have to clean up my mold when I'm done. And I have to clean my mat after a few of my projects. Come on, I gotta get that out. Just a, there we go. Once I get it started, it works well. But getting it started with no fingernails. Oh, there's a piece of that extra came right off, nice and neat. I got a little bubble action going along on that edge. I may have to sand it or just go along with some clear UV resin just put I don't know I'll figure it out do a little twist to release that stem and that stem was done with um, UV resin so let's hope this pops right out like it's supposed to oh I thought that wasn't the stem falling off and it was a piece of that off the mold touch that see that stem cool looking okay well other than those little bubbles around the edge maybe I'll just file it down come on there got it started If I can get it started and make it roll into a little, I was going to say I'll into like a tortilla. Uh, my parents were missionaries in Mexico and my dad worked with a lot of different Indian groups in Mexico and, and we would travel with him in the summer times. And he took me to this one place and this one Indian lady proceeded to tell me that I did not know how to eat a tortilla correctly because they didn't have any silverware they were super poor in this area and um, she says no I almost said it in Spanish we don't need forks 
we use tortillas. And I'm like, what? Well, there's my little blush. Ah. I said, well, then how do you get that? She goes, you roll up the tortilla. And I said, what do you mean you roll it up? And she grabbed one edge of the tortilla, flipped it, and just and rolled it into a... I'm like, well, that is slick as all get out. Well, look at this. It's got a translucent nature. Must be I squeezed it. There it goes. And there's the little... My favorite apple. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just sand around that edge, I think, to get those little bubble things down. And it'll be fine. Okay. Whoop, sorry. Golden Delicious to join the red and the green. Yep. Let me know what you think. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, followers. Followers, subscribe. It's free. Join this group. You'll have fun. See you later.